At Cole all point, a plover watches the beach while sitting on her three eggs. For them to develop, she must keep them warm in the wind and cool in the sun. A symbolic fence, a few feet away, helps keep joggers from accidentally smashing the nest. Too much disturbance from dogs and humans could cause the nest to fail. It's a long 27 days from laying to hatching, especially if crows are hunting for eggs. The male incubates at night while the female feeds. The eggs are at risk to skunks and raccoons. At night, the male is at risk to great horn owls. Finally, the first chick hatches. It pokes its head out, and the male keeps it warm. The next morning, the pair takes turns as the other chicks hatch. The oldest chick is on his feet, and already a handful. Eventually, the female will leave, and the male will protect the chicks until they are ready to fly. A few years ago, plovers could not nest on this beach. Human footsteps covered every possible nesting area. Trash attracted predators. Dogs chased the birds to exhaustion. With community support for protecting the birds, though, volunteers now help rope off the nesting area and ask owners to keep their dogs on leash. People can still enjoy the beach, and plovers can enjoy it again, too. Now, Coal Point is one of the best places to go watch birds on the south coast. If the male senses danger from a predator overhead, the sound of a dog collar or humans approaching too closely, he leaves the chicks in an effort to distract the threat and now the chicks are at their most susceptible. Frightened, they huddle down in the scrape to blend into the sand. In the past, unleashed dogs, crows, and even humans accidentally stepping on birds have caused mortality of chicks. This appears to be the main reason why snowy plovers breed at less than half the sites they used to. If the male stays away too long, the chicks may die of exposure, or they might be found by a predator. But not today. Visit Coal Point and see the plovers for yourself. And thanks for sharing the beach.